Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. How's everybody doing? Okay, I haven't done a how-to or a top tips video for quite some time and I thought I would do one today. This video is aimed mainly at people who haven't been out to Thailand before and I'm going to tell you about 15 of the top apps you should have on your phone before visiting Thailand. It will help you out a lot, it will save time and it will just make your holiday or your visit a lot more interesting while you're here. If you have been to Thailand before and you've visited anywhere around the Sukhumvit area, I'll just explain to you very quickly where I'm walking right now. I'm just walking past the trendy building on Sukhumvit Soy 13. I'll take a right and I'll come back up Soy 15 heading back to Sukhumvit again. So let's begin with the first of 15 apps that I recommend you put onto your phone before you come over here to Thailand. Number one is quite obvious, it's Google Translate. I've tried a lot of the translation apps out there. Some of them appear to be free and then they want to charge you later on. Uh, there's always a little bit of a catch there. I find Google Translate, although not 100% accurate, is probably the better one out of all the others that are offered online. Number two on my list is Wise. They were formerly called Transfer Wise, and if you haven't heard of them before, it's a banking app and it's very, very good. If you want to send money abroad, it's the cheapest way to do it, and they also give you a physical ATM card before you leave your home country. You can then apply for the ATM card and you can bring money out to Thailand that way. If you do a transfer bank to bank, using Wise is a lot cheaper. What I do is I transfer money from my UK bank account to WISE. I then transfer it from WISE to my Thai bank account. All fees relating to transferring money over to Thailand are much, much cheaper than using a regular bank and they're much faster. Usually it's done the same day within minutes. Just a word of warning while we're on the subject of ATMs. If you use a foreign ATM card in any Thai ATM machine, you will be charged 220 baht per transaction. That doesn't matter whether you withdraw 100 baht or 30,000 baht. The next couple of apps I would highly recommend to everybody who's coming out here, whether you're coming out just for a week or so or a longer period, and that's the transport apps for booking taxis and motorcycle taxis online. The most popular two apps out here for taxis are a company called Grab and another company called Bolt. Now they operate in most cities around Thailand, but you will have to check online. Again, you can simply download both of these apps and some of them offer other services like delivery. You can have parcels and letters picked up and delivered. There's uh, food delivery services, but I'll talk more about the food delivery services later. But for now, they are very, very similar to Uber in your own country. And the best thing about the taxi apps are you they're not trying to rip you off so a lot of the times when you jump in a taxi especially in the tourist areas of bangkok or uh, wherever what will happen is the guy will refuse to turn on the meter and he'll give you a set price which he's not supposed to do but that's what they try and do with grab and bolt you get a set price and what it says on screen is what you pay when you arrive at your destination so i highly recommend downloading grab and bolt The next apps I recommend are not a single app, they're several apps, and that are food delivery apps. They're very, very good here in Thailand. You can have a look at Eatigo, Line Man, Hungry Hub, and Food Panda, to just name a few. So basically, if you're renting an Airbnb or you're staying somewhere that doesn't have its own coffee shop or restaurant, you can order food online from virtually any restaurant or takeaway in Thailand these days. Even fast food like Burger King and McDonald's do delivery through these companies. They're very, very good apps. It's very, very efficient. They'll tell you how long it will take until your food arrives. There's a map so you can see where the delivery driver is and you can pay using several forms. So you can have your food delivered directly to your hotel and the hotels here in Thailand, they're not gonna have a problem with that. The next app I recommend you download onto your phone is Agoda. If you haven't heard of Agoda, Agoda is an online booking site. The reason it's good to have it on your phone here in Thailand is to book local hotels. Now, I always recommend don't book local hotels from your home country. If you're coming 
here for a couple of weeks and you're going to stay in the same hotel or apartment that's fine but if you're planning to move around thailand you'll find you'll get a lot better deals if you book on agoda before you get to that hotel here in thailand it's a lot cheaper than even walking in and asking at the reception agoda is the most used booking site all the hotels are linked into Agoda, although there are other booking sites like bookings.com that are also tied in with a lot of the Thai hotels. Download Agoda, register it. When you get here, if you move from one town to say uh, a, a seaside town and you want to get a local hotel for a couple of nights, you can go online, you can view pictures of it, book it online. And as I say, it always works out cheaper than if you walk into the hotel and ask for a rate across the counter. This next app you might not have heard of before and it might seem an unusual one for Thailand, but it's an app called Air Visual. And what Air Visual allows you to do is to check the pollution levels on a daily basis. Thailand can get polluted at times, especially cities like Bangkok and Chiang Mai. And if you're planning your day and you're, you have a day where you're intending to go walking for many hours in the day, you might want to leave that to an, for another day if it's quite polluted. You might be planning to do a few shopping malls on one day and you can bring that forward. Air Visual is absolutely free. It's updated regularly and it's my number one recommendation for checking pollution levels while here in Bangkok. One of the things you'll find yourself doing constantly while you're out here shopping is you'll be wanting to convert Thai baht back to your home country currency so you know how much you're spending. There is a great currency converter that you can download for free. It's called CoinCalc, that's spelled C-O-I-N and then C-A-L-C, -C. all one word. It's available on Google Play and it's a great app for currency conversion. I would definitely recommend downloading and having a VPN on your phone while you're out here. A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. There's several around to name two. You've got Surfshark, you've got Nord. I personally use Nord. And the reason you'd want it is not because you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, but if you, if you watch Netflix on your phone or something similar, then the programs offered out here in Thailand are not necessarily the same as your watching in your own country. And if you're halfway through a series, it's gonna be very, very frustrating if you can't watch what you want to watch so using a vpn gets around that and you can tell the vpn you're in your home country and you can carry on watching whatever you are watching back home the next couple of things i'd recommend having you on your phone are not strictly apps but they are the bts and the mrt maps on your phone if you don't know what they are the bts is the overhead train the sky train and the MRT is the underground system. They're both very, very good networks. They're very cheap, they're reliable. The trains come on time every few minutes actually, and they'll go all over Bangkok. The reason I say have the maps on your phone and not just rely on looking at them as you're traveling is because if you lose your signal, and you can't get online and you're not sure where you're gonna go. It's a lot easier if you've got those maps on your phone and you can just open them up regardless of having a internet signal. Number 10 on my list of recommended apps is an app called Line. The Line app is a communications app such as, for example, WhatsApp. WhatsApp isn't used in Thailand whatsoever as far as i know very very little everybody uses the line app it's very very popular and if you meet somebody especially a thai and you want to keep in communication with them line is the cheapest way to do it and the easiest method download the line app and you can scan another person's qr code and keep in touch very very easily Okay, so that's a rundown of the most important apps, the 10 most important apps that I think you should have on your phone before you come out here, everybody, near enough anybody. The next five apps aren't for everybody, but I do think they're quite important for those people who might want to use them. And the first of these five are aimed at anybody who comes out here who might be interested at meeting a partner, a female partner, a guy, whatever it is, and this is the dating apps, okay? So the ones that I would recommend here in Thailand, firstly, I would recommend Tinder, and then Thai Friendly, Thai Cupid, 
and maybe Thai flirting, but be careful about that one. The title says it all. Now, if you do register on any of these websites, you can do it before you come out here to Thailand. You can do it from your home country. But do be very, very careful because like everywhere else on the internet, there are scammers and you have to be very, very careful when you're looking at profiles. And normally if you read the profile properly, there are things in them, profiles or messages, and you can see that they're, they're selling cryptocurrency or they're some kind of other scammer. But they're good apps and I know a lot of people out here who've met their female partners on Tinder, Thai Friendly and Thai Cupid. Next on my list is a couple of shopping apps and you might think, well, I won't need any shopping apps when I go out to Thailand. Thailand's fantastic, you can buy anything. You can, but it's a Bangkok especially, it's a big, big city and you might not always be in the mood to go out looking for something in particular. So the two sites that I recommend that both have apps and you can join very, very simply are Shopee and Lazada. You can buy virtually anything on those two. They're free to register. You just need to put a card on their online platform and when you want to register it, they'll bring it straight to your door. But just be very, very careful. If you're only here for a number of weeks, you need to check where the item is coming from. A lot of things are sold from China and they can take up to a month to be delivered. If they're sold from Thailand, in my experience, they've normally turned up in two or three days maximum and the service is very, very good. And both of the company, both of the online platforms accept refunds as well. So you can send things back. If you receive something, it's not quite right or you're not happy with it, they will take it back and you will receive a refund. Now, if you're one of those people who comes out here on holiday with a family, but you still need to access documentation from your PC at home or in your office, and you do, although you're on holiday, you do need to keep an eye on things in your business, then I would highly recommend downloading Google Drive. There is a charge at the moment from the UK, it's about 795 for about two terabytes of space. That's a lot of space, but it's a great app because you can access your documents on any, any device from anywhere in the world. Myself, personally, I might be sitting on a beach and I'm talking about something. I need to access a document and I can open it up right there on the beach from my phone or I can open it up on my laptop or PC at home. So Google Drive, a very, very good app to have on your phone, especially if you're in business. It might seem quite obvious, it is the app Netflix. Now, a lot of people are subscribed to Netflix around the world, but you'd be surprised how many people don't put it onto their phone. It's, a good, it's good to put Netflix on your phone, have the app. Of course, you're not coming out to Thailand to watch TV. You're going to be sitting on beautiful beaches. You're going to be shopping, sightseeing, but you always get a little bit of time in the day where you want to kick back, chill out. Uh, it might be just before dinner, just after dinner, and whatever you're trying to watch on TV in the hotel room is not that good, and it's always handy to have Netflix. You can log in and you can watch your regular programming. Now, the last app I recommend having on your phone is only really for people who are going to spend any length of time here in Thailand. It's an app called True Money. It's a Thai app. And the reason I recommend you having this on your phone is it's very difficult to find a card that you can use in 7-Eleven. I was always using cash and it's always something like 202 bar or 305 bar. You end up with a pocket full of change. You always forget to take it back to 7-Eleven and you get this change build up at it back in your room. So I recommend signing up for True Money. You can use several other cards at 7-Eleven, such as Visa, but then you've got to take into account there's going to be an exchange rate, especially if it's a foreign card. With True Money, you simply load it up so you, foreigners can, uh, can apply and get accepted for True Money. So what happens, you download the True Money app onto your phone, you apply online, they normally want a copy of your passport, facial recognition, and some other questions. Once you're approved, you have an account with zero on it, you can put on one or 2,000 baht, Every time you go into a 7-Eleven when you want to pay for something, you simply show them a QR code and that's deducted from the balance in your True Money account and you can top that up as necessary. It's a very, very good um, app to have on your phone. I've recently put it onto my phone and it just saves having all those coins building up. 
Okay guys, I hope you found this video useful. That's my top 15 apps that I recommend you having on your phone before you head out here to Thailand. If you've got any questions about any of these apps, please do leave them in the description of this video and I'll try my very, very best to answer each and every question. Okay, thanks for watching today guys and I'll catch up with you soon.